Today we're going to tie a bubble back midge. It's been one of our most productive midge patterns over the last five to ten years. Probably closer to ten years. Really simple fly but it's been extremely effective. I want to start with the size 18 to 22 scud hook. The first thing you're going to do is take a piece of wire. We like to use ultra wire or stainless steel wire. Fold over about the first half an inch and thread the bead onto that folded over section of wire. That's going to reinforce uh, the bead when you tie it in so that it uh, won't break off easily and make a more durable fly. We're going to start our thread right behind the eye of the hook and go back about halfway then bring our thread back to the eye of the hook and trim off our excess thread. Now we'll take and tie in right at the head of the hook that looped over piece of the wire get that nice and secure we're going to slide our bead forward and tie down directly behind the bead and then wrap on either side a few times just to secure now you can go in trim out the short section of wire. Go ahead and fold that down so it's not so sharp. And Now continue wrapping your thread to the back of the hook. Once you've done that, this is a thread bodied fly so you're going to make nice tight wraps. Back to the front of the hook Stop just behind the bead. Now you've got your bubble back in place, secured by two strands of wire. You're going to use that same piece of wire to make the ribbing of your fly. You can vary the body color just by changing your thread color. And with the variety of wires out there now, you can have several different colors of wire finish tying that off you can either break off or trim off this extra wire it's going to leave a little tag there, we'll fold that underneath the hook make a couple more wraps you can do a little dubbing thorax on this fly, I don't find it necessary just thread and wire We'll go ahead and make some half hitches to finish the fly. Trim off our excess thread. And that's a bubble back midge. Looks like an emerging midge pupa. Got a gas bubble trapped uh, within the exoskeleton and it's taken its ride up to the surface. It's deadly fish behind another nymph down deep or just behind a little dry fly like a parachute atoms a few inches below the water surface. Like I said, probably one of our most productive flies here in the Black Hills. Also works amazing in Colorado and we've done very well with it down in the Bighorn River in Montana. So tie some up, various colors and sizes, and you'll be ready for this season's uh, midge hatches. Thought I'd give you a close look uh, at the bubble back midge. Spin the vise a little bit so you get to uh, see what it looks like from a couple different angles. Great little fly. Uh, this particular one has a uh, pearl bead with yellow olive 70 denier ultra thread and small ginger ultra wire. We tie a lot of these with 70 denier olive thread and silver wire and also a clear glass bead or pearl glass bead. Another good combination is a 70 denier black thread with silver wire and the pearlescent glass bead. Uh, but you can tie them whatever color you'd like with whatever colored wire you'd like. I'd suggest sticking with that 70 denier thread and small ultra wire um, on these size hooks otherwise you'll get out of proportion and, and uh, have a fly that's a little too bulky.